it's Plenty Girl and today I wanted to talk about Calithias. If you are a newbie, um, you might probably stumble upon uh, beautiful Calithias posts on Instagram and you want to have it right away. <laughs> I've been there, I know what I'm talking about. So I've had I don't know exactly like five of them uh, and one thing you should know about Calithias is that it's a very loved plant by spider mites. Spider mites is a bit challenging to get rid of. Uh, when I started I couldn't save even one Calithia unfortunately so I've had a Calithia vibrina, a white star, uh, and I've had a Calithia angela. I'm not sure what the exact name of that Calithia. And I've had a Calithia rubia farba. I believe it was rubia farba. Uh, and I've actually never succeeded with any of them. Um, two of them were eaten by spider mites. Um, the leaves of uh, Zebrina and white star are thin, very thin, um, and actually, um, which makes it really hard. Uh, because of being thin, um, it's very easy to damage them. So if you use any, so if you treat spider mites with anything uh, not organic, uh, it might damage them, which actually happened to my white star. I had an amazing white star. It was a huge plant. It was amazingly looking plant. Uh, but one day it was eaten by spider mites, mites and I was a newbie. I was a newbie. I didn't, I didn't check that this plant for a while. And it, the leaves were, weren't yellowing or... Um, the, the plant didn't drop the leaves. It was just, uh, it was just there. <laughs> so one day I, I saw it, I noticed it, I tried to treat it the right way and um, I failed. I couldn't save that plant. Shit happens. Uh, after that, at that period of time, I got um, Calithia, Calithia lensifolia. I don't, I don't remember the exact name of this plant. Uh, I, I fell in love with this plant. After having uh, so many Calithias, after having so many Calithias, I thought I would never return to them. I couldn't resist this beauty. And um, I can say that this is the easiest caring Calithia to me. Uh, I've never had a problem with this one. Um, if I forget to water it, it doesn't drop its leaves. It uh, doesn't uh, get any drama, <laughs> drama queen if I uh, don't, uh, you know, treat it right, don't give it enough attention. And I love this about this plant. It's beautiful, yet it's very simple to care for. I don't give it lots of humidity, it just lives as it is. Um, I water it pretty much occasionally. I water it about once a week. Um, but you should check the soil. Uh, but yeah, I need to water it again. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And uh, it stayed still for a long time. I didn't see any growth for like four or five months. And now I see it having, having them all the time, actually. It's been like eight months. So far, so good. I don't know. <laughs> uh, actually, after uh, killing a few Calithias, I said to myself I would never get any Calithia again. Never. Until, until I found this beauty. Calithia White Fusion. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't resist. I, um, I stumbled upon on this plant. I wanted it 
since last year, but it wasn't available in my country. Actually, it's a very common plant this spring. I see it here and there, you know. I really don't want it to get spider mites because the leaves look very similar to the ones I have in um, Colophia White Star. So I just keep my fingers crossed and it wouldn't get any. And I have a sp sphagnum moss here, if you can see it. I increase the humidity here. For this plant yes and then uh, the plants in my country are not adapted so it uh, the leaves are getting all crispy and um, kind of ugly to be honest with you but you know I'm okay with that Calicias are not perfect if your Calicia is perfect please tell me in the comment below what uh, kind of treatment you do so your Calicia looks this way so let's talk about caring tips. Watering. Watering is tricky for a califia. To keep the soil wet, but not too wet. And do not let the soil dry too much. And I know this is tricky, but you kind of, uh, with time, you kind of try, you learn to understand your plant and it's not, um, and it doesn't sound that um, challenging anymore. Uh, so watering is tricky, yes. But once you kind of keep the tempo of the uh, watering, uh, you know when you need to water again. But with myelancephalia, it's really easy. As I said before, it doesn't get emotional if I uh, don't water it in time. Um, but this plant, it starts curling its leaves, you know, when you don't give it enough water or enough hum humidity. So, yeah, this plant is tricky and it's probably not um, suitable for uh, beginners. Though you can try to care for one. Uh, it's, not, it's not that hard to care for it, just, you know, you kind of have to keep the watering schedule going and give it enough humidity. As to lighting, um, lighting situation for a califia is probably what why uh, most people love it because these are uh, kind of shadow wish tolerant plants, uh, so you have to keep it far from uh, indirect bright light and find a spot where it's getting enough uh, sunlight but not too much, if that makes sense. White fusion stays in my kitchen. It's the darkest place in my home. I'm not sure if it's a perfect spot for it, but so far so good. I don't know, I haven't seen any issues with this plant if I water it regularly. If I do not, I see the leaves uh, getting all curly or crispy. Uh, so yeah, watering and lighting is a bit tricky for those. My um, my califia lensifolia stays um, kind of under indirect sunlight, but it's not too bright, so it doesn't uh, get enough sunlight, but the location of lensifolia uh, is a bit brighter than the white fusion's location, which stays pretty much in a, the most shadow wish spot of my home, um, which doesn't need no light at all. Keep that in mind. My experience with the Calathias, carrying tips is to water them in time and uh, don't let the soil get too dry and give it the right spot with not lots of sunlight. And this is about it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have a Calithia, please tell me in the comments below which variety you have and tell me about your caring tips, uh, what you do to keep your Calithias happy and see you next time. Bye! Oh,
אוקיי, לא קסם להם. 